Recently on Go Island South, one of our video journalists, Mr. Paul Beilstein, rappelled down the CIBC building for charity and he was dressed as a cheerleader. Well, today I'm dressed like Superman and I'm going in. But this isn't for charity, so what the heck am I doing? <laughs> Have you ever wanted to swim like a dolphin? Fancy giving yourself a boosted up bird's eye view of Elk Lake. Thanks to a brand new water sport that's literally taking off worldwide, flyboarding straps you in for a thrill to top any other. The sport was created in 2011 by French jet ski racer Frankie Zapata. Its Iron Man like appeal is popular as the movie itself. What is that thing? It looks like Iron Man. Sandage firefighter Rob Payton is all geared up as one of Vancouver Island's first certified flyboard instructors. Along with his business partner, he launched his new company called Island Flyboard at the beginning of 2013. Okay, so Rob, I'm not going to pretend I'm not scared. How are you doing? Well, you shouldn't be scared and I'm doing great. I do feel a little more confident knowing that Rob is a trained firefighter, especially since the flyboard equipment uses what looks like a giant fire hose. So you take a regular jet ski, the water usually shoots out the back of a jet ski to yep. propel it. Now we're taking this 55 foot long hose and we're fastening it to the back of the jet ski. Now the water is going to shoot down this hose and that's going to propel you up off the water. It's just that simple. Water shooting out the bottom of your feet. It's a piece of cake. Rob gives me some words of encouragement and tips on technique. Play forward, play forward, put your hands behind your back. That's it, okay, you got it. Train your legs. Lean to the left, look to the left. As for the temperature of the water, well, it's actually quite refreshing. And with the propulsion system strapped to the bottom of my feet, at this point, it's me pulling the jet ski. I only hope no one's out fishing. Then this will really be a sport you can get hooked on. Now for my first try, I only want to come out a few feet above the water, which means Rob will give the throttle about 4,000 revs per minute. Timing is everything. Just as the jet ski revs up, you have to kick the foot-mounted flyboard directly underneath you. Then you have to tense your body, standing up straight, locking your knees to create the lift. Rob says if you start to fall backwards, you just have to dive in. After a few fails and a few bails, I finally became airborne for just a few seconds enough time for me to catch the thrill and the whole concept of flyboarding. <laughs> it's a blast. Thoroughly recommend it. I'll come the other side now. Now along for the ride is one of Shaw's volunteers, Nolan Pringle. And when Rob offered him the chance to fly, he was already in the water before he could say yes, please. This is why it's good to volunteer at Shaw. One of our volunteers seems to be getting the knack of it. When you woke up this morning, did you think your assignment would be this? I did not. I thought I was going to be following you. Uh, kind of, I guess I followed in your footsteps today and <laughs> had to bring out the B squad to get the job done, but hey, what, what the heck, right? <laughs> now, if you want to introduce yourself to this sport, to go out for an hour's training session with Island Flyboard is $200 or you could always just buy all the gear, totaling around $7,000. And that's after you acquire a powerful enough jet ski. Do keep in mind, you must be 18 years of age to flyboard, and the manufacturer makes you sign a liability waiver upon purchase. From Elk Lake in Saanich, I'm James Green.